During his first day on the ISS in 2016-17, Tom Arpeske's diary was full of scientific research, exercise, maintenance work and photos. Arpeske took a lot of photos. For his second mission, four years on, he's set to be similarly busy. Mine is a photo issue. Et donc en 200 jours, même si c'est un peu difficile à croire, j'ai vraiment pas eu 5 minutes à moi. Je savais pas, c'était peut-être ma seule mission dans l'espace, donc je voulais absolument la remplir au maximum. Mais voilà, du coup, cette fois-ci, peut-être que je vais prendre un petit peu plus de temps pour moi, juste pour euh, bah, faire des, me faire des souvenirs, pour faire des photos. Pesquet's time in space will be meticulously planned. 90 minutes of exercise a day to counter the effects of weightlessness and 36 hours of scientific tests a week. Tests on cold plasma, part of the fight against drug-resistant bacteria, research on protein crystals and muscle degeneration, and on antimicrobial metals. Astronauts are a living experiment in themselves, especially in the study of weightlessness on the human body, providing the background for future faraway missions, notably to Mars. The rest of Pesquet's time will be spent maintaining the ISS. It's now somewhat elderly, but right from the start, the astronaut's main task has been to keep its parts ticking over and extend its lifespan. We find that the panels solar degrade a little bit, that the station also, that we need a little bit more electricity, so we're going to install some new solar panels that will continue to run. It's a system that's absolutely fantastic. We install enormous tubes that weigh 350 kilos and that will continue to run. But it's really quite ambitious, and we're going to work all the way through the station, all the way through 70 meters. So that's going to be quite exciting. It's an assignment which is planned years in advance and needs six hours of last-minute preparation to ensure the right dose of oxygen, the right pressure, and to attach security cables. Another new experience for Pesquet, spending the end of his mission as ISS commander. An honour and another step forward for a man whose dream remains to set foot on the moon.